got this uh, electric DC motor and it's out of a forklift an old forklift an old electric forklift and I believe this was um, this was attached to a hydraulic pump so I think this ran the hydraulic uh, part of the forklift and it's here's my hand here so it's a pretty big motor <clears throat> I think it's rated at 36 volts I guess this oh yeah I think it's uh, 36 volts and I don't really know much else about it but it was it was seized the engine wouldn't turn or sorry the motor the motor wouldn't turn <clears throat> and I thought it was maybe the pump was seized because the old forklift's been sitting for a long time this is just a coupler but you can't take the coupler off unless unless you turn it to the right spot to get the allen key in here to get the set screw but the motor was completely locked up tight uh, we tried turning it yesterday there's a little bit of slop in the in the coupler there's a double chain coupler in here so I, I soaked it and I sprayed in and around the bearings and stuff and took there's a there's a clamp a band clamp uh, there's a band clamp that goes around around the back half and it covers these holes so I took it off and I lubed up the uh, the brushes and uh, tried to get some lube into where the bearings are so I sprayed some diesel fuel in there because it's it penetrates and lubricates so after letting it sit for a bit I got it turning or I soaked the bearings and I let them sit for a bit <clears throat> and then I, now I have it turning but it, it it won't turn all the way around yet it turns right there and then it locks up and then it turns this far and then it locks up so I'm just jogging it back and forth and trying to get a little further I'm not sure what, if it's the bearings or what it is but I'm trying to see if I can get this motor completely unseized it was completely seized now it's turning but it's not turning all the way yet so I figure the bearings are dirty maybe rust and I'm just gonna see if I can get it to go around got it running on 12 volts right now with uh, no controller the brushes might be a little dirty so I was just gonna let it run for a minute it's running uh, which direction is it running oh I missed it running counterclockwise it's running counterclockwise see which direction it runs it runs counterclockwise even if I reverse the polarity it runs counterclockwise no matter 
no matter what the polarity is. Huh, that's interesting. I think it could still be useful though, even if it's not reversible. It must be reversible somehow. Maybe not, because this one is only the hydraulic pump motor. It might not be reversible. It's super torquey though, because as soon as I put 12 volts to it, it the whole motor torques. And uh, it takes a heavy, heavy draw. It'll just spark if you have a poor, poor connection, but if you have a good connection, she gets pretty torquey. It takes a minute to get a good connection with booster cable like this. But the whole motor torques. The whole motor just turns and there's no load. It's under no load right now. Well, at least it works. Uh, like I said, the... Uh, it might not be reversible via polarity and it only has two power points on it so I guess you can't reverse the fields or whatever or the windings but if you for an electric vehicle uh, most of them have a gear a reverse gear anyway so you don't really need a reverse polarity Or a motorcycle. Motorcycles, they only have forward gear, so I think it would be useful for something.